So I've got like, I got VIPs coming up and they're like, I want to speak, I want to speak, I want to speak. So I'm going to keep this rolling. We have another MD who is here, who's been fighting with us. Barry, my friend, please come on the stage. Oh, yeah. She's right here. All right. Please introduce yourself. Please take the stage, Dr. Barry. Thank you. I'm Barry Engelhardt. I'm a retired family doctor. But more importantly, I'm a grandfather of six. You know, I've been told that truck drivers sit high up in their cabs so they can see off in the distance. And I was told that they use the compass in their cab to guide them to where they're going. And I thought for sure that was how they got here. But I was wrong. They sit up behind the cab not just to see off in the distance, but because they see the big picture. And they don't just use the compass in their cab, they use something inside called your moral compass. And they know what right is, and that's what got them here today. But sadly, not everybody who sits in high positions always uses their compass, moral compass, nearly as well as the truckers do. Truckers, you see the big picture and know that taking children out of school, making them wear masks, not letting them play together, keeping them constantly scared that they might die or kill their grandparents is harmful. Your moral compass knows that giving experimental inoculations to pregnant women with genetic material without proper testing is wrong. In the big picture, truckers, you know that depriving the elderly of human touch in the last months or years of their lives hurts them. Your moral compass knows that when taking away someone's job or business to gain control over them is going to harm all of us. When you look off in the distance, like a trucker, you know that putting the entire country into horrendous debt for years or decades is not going to make anyone healthier. Your moral compass knows that when good and healthy Canadians are praying or serving others with their products or services, giving them fines and putting them in jail, when they are helping, not harming, is wrong. You have traveled all over this beautiful country and know that in the big picture, we are all Canadians. We are all equal and deserving of love and respect and saying or doing anything that makes us irrationally fear each other will divide us and harm us. Your moral compass knows that Canadians do not need to be bullied because it is in our DNA to be compassionate and we can be trusted to find sensible ways